Okay, once installed, go ahead and simply open and boom shakalaka. If you see this super user request, you are fully rooted. Hi guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to root your OnePlus 5T. Before we begin, this root method will erase everything on your phone. Um, just because with the newer Android, it is encrypted, so you have to wipe everything. So before we begin, make a backup of everything that you need to. We're gonna wipe everything. And I do highly recommend if you wanna get root, the best time to root is right when you get your phone. Don't wait around until after you install all of your apps. All right, just root it from day one. All right, so first thing you guys are gonna do is go into settings. All right, go all the way down to about phone. All right, make sure you're running Android version 7.1.1. This method is right now for Android 7.1.1. If you have anything higher in the future watching this, make sure you check that this root method is compatible with Oreo, for example, for future Android versions. Uh, if you're not sure, you can always tweet me at Zedomax on Twitter, uh, at Z-E-D-O-M-A-X and I'll be able to reply to you very, very quickly. Or go ahead and check the actual tutorial on my site or also the description. I may have updated whether it's compatible or not. So go ahead and check that. Next, you're gonna go ahead and hit build number down here a bunch of times until it says you have enabled um, developer options. Now I've already done it, so it's already says yes. Um, so go ahead and hit the back button and now you should have developer options. Go ahead and click on that, all right? And make sure OEM unlocking is checked on, just like that. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and turn our phone off. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and unlock the bootloader. Unlocking the bootloader will erase everything on your phone. All right, go ahead and hold down the volume down. While holding down the volume down, go ahead and hit the power button. When the logo comes up, let go of the power button but keep holding down the volume down button and your phone will enter into special state. All right, go ahead and um, do your password there, all right, or key pass or whatever, and go ahead and choose English. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and go to advanced using the volume keys and then hit the power button. And next we're gonna go ahead and choose uh, re reboot to fast boot and hit the power button and go ahead and hit the power button again and this will boot you into fast boot mode where we can go ahead and unlock the bootloader all right you'll see device state locked now you can do this on windows mac or linux i'll be using windows for this example it's pretty much nearly identical for linux or mac i'm um, just the file names are a little different i'll have um the substitution you gotta type on linux or mac so check my site if you're using linux or mac you can also do chromebook Go ahead and download the ADB uh, package app for the Chromebook. Uh, once that's done, let's go to our computer. All right, um, if you go to my site, highonandroid.com, and under the menu button, you'll find twerp recovery. All right, go to that, either go to that or yes, go here and um, go ahead and download all these files that you need. You'll need fastboot.zip, all right? You'll also need USB drivers, You'll need Majisk and you will need OnePlus 5T Torp Recovery. Four files you will need. All right, if you are not using Windows, you don't need the USB drivers. Um, go ahead and download all these four files. Uh, the download link for all these files is at the end down here. Oops, down here uh, where it says click here to download. So go ahead and click to download for all of them. And once you have downloaded all four files, you're gonna go ahead and uh, unzip all of them, basically uncompress. So double click on there, extract all files, and that'll give you a folder called Fastboot with all the files you need. And also, if you are using Windows, obviously unzip USB driver, extra all files, and you should have a, a folder called USB underscore driver. And also you'll need uh, Majisk, you don't have to unzip this, leave this alone. And also O5T twerp, this is a twerp recovery. Go ahead and copy this, do a copy, and go into your fast boot folder, and go ahead and paste it. All right, 
All right, once that's done, you will have to uh, update the drivers if you're using Windows. So go ahead and go to Control Panel, Hardware and Sound, Device Manager. Um, if you don't know how to do this, go please go Google it. All right, make sure no other Android devices are connected to your computer um, because sometimes you, know, you can have multiple of them. Um, so go ahead and uh, find the one with Android exclamation mark. Now, if I go ahead and unplug the USB, you'll see that it disappears. And if I plug it back in, you will see it reappears, which means this is actually the OnePlus 5T. We're gonna go ahead and update the driver. Go ahead and double click it, go to update driver. Now make sure you follow this exactly. I've had people not follow directions and couldn't install the drivers. Oh my God. All right, <laughs> go to browse my computer for driver software. All right, do not pick this. Pick, let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. All right, do not pick all of this other stuff. Pick show all devices, hit next. All right, go to have disk, go to browse, go to your download folder and go into your uh, USB underscore driver folder, the driver that you unzip. Go ahead and select win Android underscore win USB dot inf. Hit okay. All right, choose Android ADB interface, hit next, say yes. And you can go ahead and always trust from Google. Go ahead and install. And this will install Android ADB interface, all right? Like I said, you do not need drivers if you're using Mac or Linux, all right? So you'll see Android ADB interface. Don't worry about the Samsung Android phone. That doesn't really matter. Um, but the important thing is you see Android ADB interface. All right, once you see that, you're good to go. We're gonna go ahead and open a command prompt. So go ahead and go to start search and go ahead and type CMD, all right? Type CMD um, in your search bar. Sorry, it got cut out there, but that's basically what it is. Next, you're gonna go ahead and type CD downloads, all right? And next, we're gonna type CD fastboot. All right, next, we're gonna go ahead and type fastboot, OEM, unlock like that. All lowercase fastboot space oem space unlock this will unlock the bootloader and this is how you unlock bootloader pretty much on all of the oneplus phones you can actually follow this exact method for all the oneplus uh, and even nexus phones um, it could be oem unlocking for the nexus phones go ahead and hit that and you will see right away uh, my screen says yes or no so i'm gonna go ahead and choose yes all right, using the volume keys and I'm gonna hit the power button. All right, as soon as it powers off, all right. All right, it's gonna power on. All right, don't let it power on. Uh, well, let it, let it wipe. It's actually wiping your whole phone. It's gonna wipe and then it's probably gonna reboot or it's gonna power off. We'll see what it does. Okay, it wiped data, now it's rebooting. Let it reboot and go ahead and sign in real quick. Okay guys, once rebooted, go ahead and sign in. Just go ahead and skip everything, all right? Okay, once signed in, you're gonna go back into settings and go into about phone. And you're gonna go ahead and hit the build number a bunch of times until it says you're now a developer. Same thing as before, go into developer options. Make sure OEM is checked on, all right, it's checked on. All right, go ahead and power off. And we're gonna put it into fast boot mode again. So same thing, volume down, volume down and power. All right, and let go of the power and hold down the volume down. All right, you'll be in this menu again, go into English, go into advanced. All right, hit the power button again, reboot to fast boot, reboot to fast boot. And you will be back in fast boot mode. Now you will see device state unlocked. Congratulations, you have unlocked your phone. By the way, OnePlus does not void warranty when you root your phone, all right? Which is really cool. One of the reasons to why get OnePlus. Also, all the Nexus Pixel phones are like that too. Google does not penalize you, all right? You can keep your warranty. So there's absolutely no reason to not root your phone, all right? Go back to your computer and we're gonna type Fast boot space, flash space, recovery space, 
we're gonna go ahead and type in 05 tour. Just go ahead and type 05 and go ahead and hit the tab key and it will fill it out for you. All right, for these commands here, like I said earlier, um, if you're using Mac or Linux, go ahead and use a substitution, all right? But pretty much the same thing. All right, go ahead and enter and this will flash your recovery. All right, next, let's go back to our phone. We're gonna go ahead and use the volume key to go to recovery mode like that. Go ahead and hit the power key. And this should get you into Torp recovery. All right, the warning sign you'll get after rooting, don't worry about it. It's just a warning sign. It doesn't mean anything. All right, if you got to this point, congratulations. Pat yourself on the back. All right, keep it as keep read only. And we're gonna do wipe. We're gonna have to wipe the data. Go to format data, say yes. Hit enter. And this will again wipe everything. All right, go to home, reboot, and go to reboot recovery. And also do not install. And this will reboot you back into twerp recovery. Okay, go ahead and keep it as read only. All right, let's go back to our computer. And you're gonna go ahead and copy over magisk.zip. Go ahead and do right click copy. Go to OnePlus, go to the internal storage, go ahead and paste. All right, that's it. All right, you do not need your cable anymore. So from here on, we can do it all on the phone, which is very nice. We're gonna go into install, Magisk, and go ahead and flash. And Magisk will give you root. This is actually what roots your OnePlus 5T. All right, and once this is done, reboot. You should have full root uh, running, uh, starting completely over, but you'll be fully rooted. Unlock bootloader. Um, also, you'll be able to now install custom ROMs, which is very nice. Now, anytime you want to get back into Twerp, just like I showed you, uh, volume down in the power, go back into fast boot mode, and then boot into recovery. Once that's done, go ahead and reboot system. Choose do not install, and let it reboot. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you got to this point um, successfully, uh, pat yourself on the back, pretty much you rooted your phone, I think. All right, guys, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Um, hit the like button. I know a lot of you guys forget it, but it does really help me as a creator, and I do need those likes. Um, it's just really tough sometimes because a lot of people don't hit like even though they like the video and yeah I mean, you know, YouTube pays Doesn't pay that much. They pay you like a dollar for a thousand views So yeah, every like really helps so please hit that like button if you got to this point because you're pretty much rooted And this should actually work on Oreo too. I just you know told you that to check with me beforehand um, just to make sure because there could be noobs, you know beginners who don't know what they're doing and they might you know mess up their phone I don't want you to mess up your phone. So give it a second and this should boot up Okay, once booted, we're gonna go ahead and sign in again All right, go ahead and sign into your Google because you might have to update the Magisk app So let me go ahead and sign into Google. Okay, once signed into Google go ahead and run Magisk manager app all right, once in here, it says latest version, version 14.0, installed 14.5. Uh, you should be good to go. Go to super user. All right, if you're not getting errors, you're you're pretty much rooted. All right, um, go to the Play Store, and to verify you have full root, go ahead and download any rooted apps. I'm going to go ahead and download Titanium Backup app. By the way, you can use this app to back up all of your apps with data for most apps. Certain apps you can't, but um, you can pretty much back up everything with the Titanium Backup app. I do recommend getting the pro version. I got it like six years ago. I've been using it. It's definitely a good value. Okay, once installed, go ahead and simply open and boom shakalaka. If you see this super user request, you are fully rooted. Now you can run any rooted apps. If you want to install custom ROMs, you can now go ahead and boot into Twerp. The good thing is that once rooted with Twerp recovery installed, when you want to install custom ROM, you won't have to connect it to your computer. Um, that's the only rooting process, all right? Now you can go ahead and download the ROM straight onto your phone, change ROMs, backup ROMs, all that good stuff. 
if you guys want to back up your ROMs, I do highly recommend using a USB OTG uh, cable. If you have any of the newer Samsung phones, it actually comes with the USB OTG and you can connect a flash drive and back up all your ROMs so it won't take up space on your phone. I do have a universal guide on how to do that, but if you guys want me to make um, separate Torp recovery backup restore video for the OnePlus 5T. Do let me know. I'll make another one. But I think most of you will figure it out. Oh, right, that's pretty much it. Go ahead and enjoy your fully rooted Android phone. Now with Majisk Root, it also hides your root. So your Android Pay should work just fine also. All right. And also you should be able to use any uh, apps that block root. That's why we use the Majisk Root method. Majisk will be hiding root and you can check that by going here and if you go into settings, uh, make sure Majisk Hide is on. All right, that's pretty much it. Anyway, don't forget to hit the thumbs up again, a like, subscribe if you want more videos like this. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, Periscope, and as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.